Hey Virgo, welcome back. Welcome back. Let's get started with your reading. If you're new, welcome to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you want to get a personal reading, you guys, there is a link in the description box. Just click that link. That will take you to my website. If you have just joined the House of Virgo membership gang, welcome. Elaine Scariotti, welcome. Good to have you here. Um, $2.99 a month to join. Please smash that like and subscribe button if you enjoy readings. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus for April. Hope you guys had, <laughs> hope you had your eclipse glasses on and you got to see the eclipse earlier. Um, hope you had a good time. All right, let's get started with your reading. Okay, so you've got keys on a ring, many options. You've got some decisions unconventional string along one eight stand mm. stabbed in the back heartbreak pain separation deception shocking attack and sunglasses watching looking stalking guessing okay so straight off of the straight out of the gate okay somebody here feels like you have a ton of options you have other options or you're looking at your other options um there's an energy of like someone feels betrayed. Um, maybe you guys are in separation or someone thinks that you're in separation with them because you are maybe looking at your other options or I don't know, are you stringing somebody along? Somebody feels that way. I'm not saying that you are. And they're watching and stalking you in April to see if, if you, why you're not talking to some why you're not talking to somebody or pursuing a relationship with someone um like there's this maybe somebody doesn't believe you if you are on your own and you're not being in a relationship with anyone someone thinks it's because you have somebody else or you're you're not showing any interest. This person is stressed. Like you are not paying attention to someone in April. Hmm. That's very interesting, Virgo. What's going on here? Someone's got a lot of anxiety. I think you're putting effort into someone else. Maybe like they're kind of back and forth. They're they're like, oh well, they're making excuses. Well, maybe Virgo's just busy. Maybe Virgo's working or like they don't there's somebody does not know and they they feel um well stabbed in the back i guess i mean hey there's there's they're like shocked or they're looking to see if you are interested in someone else or that you're expanding your options or dating others or whatever you might be doing if you even i mean they don't know what exactly you're doing okay they don't know. So there, there's somebody spying on you in April. Hmm. They got competition. They're looking to see who their competition is. All right, Virgo, I know. I know. Some of y'all are just like, it's not even like that. Some of you all are just, you know, I'm busy watching the eclipse. <laughs> or there was an earthquake. Or we got all, I got all these other things going on. Some of you, it's like you're just at home watching your shows or you're just working but there is another person here could be a fire sign an earth sign or a water or i'm sorry air sign um thus far uh could be a leo a gemini or another virgo um this person looking to see who the competition they have it in their mind so i don't know maybe you are dating others or dating another person i'm not really sure we'll look at you in a minute um but whatever you're doing this person, there's someone here, whoever your person is, this person thinks that they have competition, that you're choosing somebody else or you're dating other people and they are, oh my gosh, they're, that's what they have in their mind and they're looking to see who is it, who is it and why is Virgo not choosing me? Yeah, so the Fool card and the Seven of Swords. There's somebody here who thinks, could be an Aquarius. There's somebody here who thinks that you are, yeah, doing this. They think that either maybe you, you're running away or there's so much betrayal or, or they think that you're cheating or that you're being tricky. Okay. 
All right. Show me the Fool card. What's going on? Of course. Three of Swords. Libra energy there. So, they think you're being careless with their heart and that you're sneaking around. They think that you're cheating on them or that you are choosing others or looking at other options or going on other dates or, you know, uh, that you broke up with them. If you broke up with somebody, like you just ended a relationship or you're in separation. I mean, this person's got the three of swords. It's like killing them. It's killing them. And I don't, they're spying or they're looking because I, I don't know if they can't see you. Maybe they can. Or they're looking to try to catch a glimpse to see what you're doing. Or who, if you're with somebody else. Okay. This person's like a fool. They've become like a fool for you. Yeah, they're struggling. They are struggling. Show me a court card. I can try to get an idea of who this might be. All right, just when I ask, Queen of Swords. So it could be another Virgo, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, yeah, they're trying to get clarity, seeking the truth to see what you're up to. What are you doing, Virgo? Now, I just feel like, too, that they view you as a Queen of Swords, masculine or feminine. They're looking, because a Queen of Swords, you know, it... It does have the Virgo glyph there. So sometimes the Queen of Swords can be a Virgo card in some decks, but they see you as very independent. You have clear boundaries. You're being like, you're very direct in your communication. I don't know if you are or not, but this is how they see you, that you're very clear and perceptive. And But I will say this person views you as like, dependent on them maybe before but now you're not maybe you were very dependent on them or you had like a poverty mindset or had a lot of insecurity but now you're not you might be breaking up with this person in april or just like being clear and direct if you haven't done this already let me see. Ooh, my goodness okay let's take a look at you Look at you. You have the Ten of Cups. You look pretty damn happy, Virgo. Content. Blissful. You're in alignment with yourself and the universe. And it looks like you're trying to manifest some dreams here. Connecting with your family. Feeling completely loved and supported. Look at that. Total recovery. Hmm. Total recovery here. Rest. You, you're you withdrawn. You're recuperating, retreating. You're in solitude, perhaps. It looks like you're just... It looks like you're just being completely happy. Seriously. Like, I don't see... It, it looks like you're in, like, this place of peace, peace of mind, getting some rest retreating from some relationships so if you've ended something with someone it looks to me like you're you're just at, like either you are you have it's for sanity it's for your sanity for complete rest like i see you being kind of alone um in a sense like i don't see you really pursuing anyone or dating anyone you're spending time in april with people you love people that support you and love you and care about you friends family kids things like that hmm. let's see what else is Virgo what else is Virgo doing oh I got the king of swords oh some of you may be engaging with someone in April where it could be a Taurus or a Gemini another Libra or an Aquarius yeah, a, a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. There may be like this new potential love start with someone. Hmm. So maybe this person is very intuitive or isn't off the mark with this. I've, there's this feeling of like, who is my competition? Who is my competition? Why does Virgo not want to be with me? Who is my competition? 
Let's see. There's definitely a potential new love start with someone. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Aries, Pisces. Why is the Queen of Wands showing up here? Oh. Oh, okay. So there is there is someone in your life that's connected to your family um, that's going to be very significant to you in April. This could be a fire sign, um, masculine or feminine. Um, <clears throat> and if they're not connected to your family, um, there is a uh, reunion with this person in April. Now, some of you might also be taking on the energy of the King of Swords as well. Um, where you are freeing yourself from some past relationship or something's ended and you are opening yourself up for a potential new love start with someone. So it could be a, fi a fire sign. It could be an air sign as well. Let's see. This is 1111. So this feels like it could be um, a soulmate connection where it's a type of relationship where there's a, um, a a foundation that gets built stability completeness hmm. okay let's see show me more about this uh, this queen of wands this fire sign show Virgo more about this fire sign I see marriage wow ace of pentacles there's a new opportunity coming to you Virgo with someone here a new like there's prosperity some of you are also going to get a job offer or you might be able to work from home or there's more money coming in um, like a remote working remotely from home there's a big chunk of money coming to some of you but as far as the love relationship goes I do see um, a beautiful like you've got the ace of cups but then there's this ace of pentacles as well so it's like stability um, um, somebody's meeting somebody's family as well and things are up in the air so it's early to start there's it's not a committed thing quite yet so this might be something new some new start new relationship new opportunity coming to you in in the rest of april here but yeah i do feel like there's did, did you break up with someone virgo or did you end something or did somebody end something with you and you gave them some what for and was like well yeah guess what no problem <laughs> and then decided to just release yourself this person is it's like i don't know if they are like oh i made a mistake or maybe they didn't think that you would go and open yourself up to other options other dating options okay so virgo the gist of the story look at like i don't know there's travel relocation there's an opportunity from you're moving on virgo you're moving on from something King of Pentacles here. A lot of travel here. A lot of movement, impulsive energy, passion, lusty energy. And that's your card for sure. So, I mean, Virgo, you look very stable. I, it looks like you are opening yourself up to other options, dating. You might be looking for someone who's very stable. Um, structured has like rules they live by like they're self-disciplined um, protective someone who's very focused on the relationship like someone reliable it looks like you're going after that but you're also because you have the four of swords and the high priestess you're keeping things kind of quiet it looks like you're not putting anything out there and that's why somebody is looking. They're seeking information on you. They're telling themselves, I don't feel like this person really knows for fact, like evidence of what you're doing because with the high priestess, I feel like you're kind of like not really putting that out there. It's private, but they are 
without having actual evidence of something, they're creating these visions or ideas in their mind that you are leaving them and you're mo that you're moving on. And it's crazy because I feel like there was some kind of breakup or separation and so maybe someone might, I don't know, if, it could be a little disheartening to them that you're not fighting for the relationship because of the seven of wands being there with the competition but they're also looking to see who their competition is i don't know what's wrong with this person like why would they be doing that if they broke up with you and they ended it with you or it just didn't go anywhere why would they be seeking to see who their competition is oh Huh. Two of Swords and the Page of Wands. Huh. It's kind of. There might have been. Somebody might have blocked somebody. And somebody wants to reach out and talk. I feel like. Okay, this is going to sound crazy. Because I was asking why they would be seeking to see who their competition is. It's because they, they want to. Um. They want to they want to do the chase thing okay that's interesting they just said they want to they're intrigued they're inspired it's exciting to them <laughs> god what the hell it's exciting to them to your person or whoever it is where some the, a relationship that ended they're like it turns them on. Okay. And the King of Cups just popped out here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Yeah. It's kind of like... I feel like this person's going to try to reach out to you. If they blocked you, they're going to unblock you. Because they're looking for information on you. So... Whether that's on social media, whether that's on the phone, um, whatever. If there's a restraining order that they put on you, they're going to take it off. Um, I hope somebody didn't do that, Virgo. I hope somebody didn't put a restraining order on you. Oh, and there's the King of Wands and um, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. So listen... You got all the, you have all the signs here, okay? You've got four different people showing up here. It could be one of them. It could be two people. It could be three. It could be four. I don't know. You got a lot of, <laughs> you. It, so options, Virgo. Options. Keys on a ring. It looks like you, it looks like you're open to, to options, to seeing who else is out there? And so another person feels, or everybody is looking to see, like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I can't figure this out. Honestly, I'm getting these messages, but you, Virgo, you might be dating different people at once. And they're all like looking, they're all competing with, with each other for your time and attention, which, okay. Hey, Virgo, I mean, you got to do what you got to do, I guess. So it kind of looks like that's what's happening here. I know some of you are like, no, it's not happening at all. And that's fine. This wouldn't be your message. But it could be. Things can still change. There's the lovers. You are definitely going to make a connection with someone that's going to be like a true love thing in April. I just can't tell you who it's going to. Let me, you know what? I'm just going to roll the dice. Let me just roll the dice to see who's going to, who Virgo is going to make this true love connection. If you're dating others or just you start dating others or there's other potential or, you know, people are reaching out to you or you're reaching out to them, whatever the situation, I just want to see who it's going to be for April. All right. So that landed on Taurus. Okay. Taurus is going to be it. Taurus is going to be the one. Two of Cups. 
you and Taurus. Okay, I know now some of you, I'm going to say this. Taurus is showing up as your true love, okay? You don't have to go with a Taurus. <laughs> Just because they're showing up, it doesn't mean you have to. But Spirit's telling me that Taurus is your true love. So I don't know who you know that's a Taurus. Maybe Taurus is the one that you broke up with or that things ended with. But it looks like Taurus is the one who's showing up here. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Let me keep it. Let me keep it right there. Okay. Taurus is your true love. Okay. You've got play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. All right. Children. Hmm. So something to do with children being connected to this relationship. And then you've got interference, an external party intruding on a relationship. Hmm. That's interesting. Whenever I do readings, when there's a whole bunch of people showing up, it can get very confusing. So I try to keep the message as absolutely on point as I possibly can. But when it happens to like this, you kind of have to cherry pick, not try to force anything to fit, but kind of cherry pick to see what's going to work. You do have release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. So... I don't know what you're going through. I don't know if there was an argument or something ended or will end. And someone feels betrayed and thinks you're moving on and they're looking to see who it is. And you might have other options. But if you and a Taurus ended something, I do see you guys reconciling in April um, in a healthy way. Okay. Um, but there could be somebody new showing up here in April who's Taurus. You have mastery. You've learned the spiritual lesson. You or another person. It's definitely a fixed energy. Detach with love to clearly see the truth, Virgo. All right. All right, Virgo. There's something you definitely are trying to understand. And part of your maybe going silent or retreating has a lot to do with... It's crazy because I feel like I do I do feel there is someone here where there's a relationship that ends and either going forward they're gonna start trying to see if you're moving on with someone else and in a lot of ways it's very intriguing to them and makes them kind of want to fight for the relationship kind of turns them on like I'm saying which is you know it must be a um, it must be a masculine because I don't necessarily feel like the feminine would have that energy um the feminine would probably be more turned off um but the the masculine wouldn't masculine would be like oh it's it's playtime right so cupid's arrow cupid's arrows love messages and travel are coming in for you in april so if you've got some kind of relationship that ended or is ending or there's a breakup of some sort it really does look some of you this <laughs> Some of you are going to be getting with a really good friend of yours that's something stirs up with a really good friend. But if something ended, it looks like there's a bit of a turnaround happening here. Because I feel like the overall message, Virgo, is that you are just moving on and exploring maybe other options. And if, if even if you're not and options are showing up and you're not really reeling anybody in, this other person thinks that that's what's going on. And I'm not seeing any games here, but I do see like somebody feels like I can't believe Virgo either broke up with me and ended this relationship or I can't believe that um, Virgo accepted it. You know what I mean? Now, if you're married and you're in some kind of a relationship, if you're in a relationship with someone that they're on the rocks, it looks like there's some separation that's happening between you and your person. And you do have somebody who's, I'm not going to say possessive. I don't, I didn't see anything possessive about that, but they may be curious if you're spending a lot of time with a mutual friend. Um, I don't know. I'm just seeing, look at this, hitting rock bottom. I just feel like your person 
it's either your spouse or that you're or someone you're in separation with is like shit and they come in with the love offer yeah they don't want to lose you to another person that's really what i that's what i'm picking up somebody does not want to lose you to another person even if it's only imaginary it's all in their head it's real to them and here's that love offer to be in a committed relationship with you because of this i'm not going to tell you what to do i'm not sure what's going on here a hundred percent you know your story better than i do but i do feel like there is somebody who thinks who's concerned that you're going to move on with somebody else and you know either that's happening right now or it's coming up and you're gonna go forward with someone else and keep it kind of secret i don't know i just feel like this person's got it in their head that that's what's happening i mean for all we know virgo you could just be hanging out with your dog or your cat you know what i mean but i don't know when usually when somebody two people are really not talking it's always is there somebody else and that's not always the case, but there there does tend to be that fleeting thought that can sometimes build and build and build. Hold on, I'm trying to fix my thing here. All right, let's get some... Oh, I forgot the Chinese signs. Yeah, so I will say somebody is 36. We have 1979, 1967. Someone is 56. We have the letter W. Let's just get the Chinese sign real quick. Of you and your well whoever the whoever's spying on you okay year of the tiger oh double tiger year of the goat year of the rooster year of the monkey year of the pig we got rooster again year of the snake and we got a pig again one more another snake and year of the ox okay so a little qualifier for you i just want to i want to get the physical features oracle see if we can get the features of whomever is watching you who's spying on you okay so we've got someone here who's muscular they work out. I'm a bodybuilder. Or the fitness trainer. Something along those lines. Let's see. Masculine or feminine. Okay. We've got someone who's got black hair. Okay. Let's see. Okay. They have a mole. They got a mole. It could be there above the lip. Of the mouth but it could be anywhere like a pretty big like a mole let's see what else who else give me another feature all right and then we've got blue eyes and then we have a man bun <laughs> a man bun all right and then we also have brown hair okay so those are some features that doesn't have to all be one person they could have one of these features two three four five okay so just keep that in mind but that is the description of the person who is spying on you who's watching you to see if you have left them or if you are dating other people like they're really freaking out about this all right again the letter o the letter X. Oh, year of the ox. Okay, somebody is 27. The letter I. Isabel. Ian. Okay. September 16th and the 18th. Um, August 27th. The letter P. The letter C. The letter A. CC. My name is CC. Okay. Peoria, I just heard. Okay, someone's 48. Someone's birthday is in May. Someone's birthday is in November. 1963, we have September 12th. Birthday. I just heard the, the name Lay. Leah. Lay. L-E-A-H. Lay. 
The letter I again, someone is 41. Letter E, Edward. Letter Y, someone is 53. Okay. Hmm, someone's in California. Well, it says Cali. I know true natives of California don't call it Cali. Um, we have September 21st. Somebody's in Colorado. September 5th, we have the letter L. Let me see. So we've got LA. We have Cairo. Someone's in Egypt. Or is there... It could be Egypt. The name of a town. Or New Egypt. Um, we have Alabama. Or it could be Egypt, right? And then Cairo. They're, they're telling me Cairo. Um, I'm picking up Washington. I'm picking up Pine. Pine. P-I-N-E. It could be Pine Street or Pine Road or Pine name of a city. Um, someone says, yep. Like, they don't say, yeah. They don't say, yes. They always say, yep. It's like, you know, real significant. They always say, yep. <laughs> okay. Um, I see somebody, like, at a beach carrying a pail. <laughs> like a sand... Like a pail to put sand in. Or a beach. At a beach. With, like, you know what I mean? Like a bucket of pail with shovels <laughs> for a beach. It's like a little kid on a beach with a, a sand pail. Okay. Hold on a minute. Washington. They're telling me Washington. So I don't know if that's the state or D.C. or someone's visiting one of those places or it's the name of a street or a town Washington okay let me just get another September birthday we have September 11th and another zodiac sign for Virgo we have a Sagittarius is significant to this reading and a Capricorn is significant to this reading okay interesting all right, let's find a charm for Virgo. Okay, so we have a pair of scissors, Virgo. So if somebody's getting a haircut or just got a haircut or it works as a hair stylist. Okay, you also have the, the dove with the um, four leaf clover. So there could be um, somebody, Oh, hmm, okay, somebody received a message on St. Patrick's Day that was significant. So that would have been March 17th. Significant message on March 17th. Oh, they say get another zodiac sign. Okay, Sagittarius is here again. Let me roll one more time. And Aries. Could have been somebody's birthday. The end of March. All right, we do have some cutting tools showing up here. <laughs> Somebody's a stylist and maybe you saw that on TikTok or you saw a video or you heard of that where some of these hairstylists use these crazy tools to cut hair. Like they burn the hair or they use a saw or just do like it's gimmick novelty type of stuff. Um, but I also feel like um, there's a builder. Someone's using tools or use, there's someone here who use uses their hands for cutting things whether that's hair whether that's wood maybe you're working with those tools right now for cutting something um i'm also they're also seeing someone's a hairstylist and someone is like a builder like either construction or a builder it's like a relationship and you also have a mermaid here okay so this feels like a costume. I mean, we know mermaids. I mean, are they real? Who knows? But there is someone in like a mermaid costume. So maybe it's like a child's party or somebody hires someone to wear a costume. Um, like a, like a, uh, under, oh, it's Ariel. So somebody's name is Ariel under the sea. 
Okay. I just went, okay, they just gave me the name Michael. Michael. I'm also seeing um, I'm feminine with blonde hair. And very significant. And another charm here for Virgo. You also have a guitar. Well, actually, yeah, that looks like one of those old electric guitars, like from, I don't know, like the 50s or something. Can you see it? Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, you see it? Oh, hold on. It's like one of those, like, sh stray cat blues kind of thing. One of those 50s guitars, electric guitar. Maybe somebody has one of those or plays a guitar has one of those old guitars. Okay. And you also have that really cool heart and it's got a moon, a star, and a planet. Hmm, somebody is, really loves astrology. That's what I'll have to say. Or someone's just getting into astrology. They're really getting into astrology. Or just has like a heart for science or is really into like science planetary stuff um could be a scientist or works in some type of scientific research like it's in their heart you know like like this is what they want to do for a living or this is like their thing you know or just interested in the moon and the stars and the planets and the galaxies maybe that's you it could be another person virgo and let me just get another charm here all right there's a rabbit so someone this is definitely someone born in the if you're born in the year of the rabbit this is definitely a reading for you um and then you've got some candy canes two candy canes coming together making like a heart says so there's something significant at christmas it's gonna happen at christmas time or happened already in the holidays that went by oh it's not making a heart that's just me thinking it is so there's definitely something significant around the holidays. Candy canes. Well, it kind of looks like a heart, right? Candy canes. Maybe somebody's name is Candy. Your name might be Candy or someone's name is Candy. Okay. I'm doing a lot of charms. I'm just really into doing the charms right now. Let's just do more charms. Let's see what else shows up here. This is Colorado. Okay. So you do have an arrow here with a heart on it. So that's definitely Cupid's arrows. <laughs> Cupid's arrows are just going to be fleeting. You know, it's funny. So the eclipse, right? They always call it like, um, like a diamond ring when the eclipse starts passing over and then it comes to the end and then it moves on. It creates like a diamond ring where one small piece of the i don't want to say corner because there's no corners but one small area brights up lightens up real bright like and it makes kind of like a diamond ring and i did say in april there was going to be like an engagement whoa that's your side or someone was getting a ring of some sort so i feel like for a lot of you um somebody might have gotten engaged during the eclipse you might find out about it later or you might have known about it already, but, and that could have been you. Somebody here might have also gotten engaged. If you did, leave a comment. I'd love to hear that, but um, that does represent like a ring. So uh, I was thinking about it and I was like, well, I wonder if I, I didn't even know about the eclipse. So when I made that reading, I hadn't like followed or heard about it, but somebody here might have, that could have had something to do with that reading. Um, okay, so you also have a broom and you have a dice. Let's roll the dice. Okay, number two. And two is a number of union, completion, couples. So it's about balance, duality, partnership, choices, opposition, reflection, and diversity. Um, somebody could be also, they're saying neurodiverse. Could be on the spectrum. And this broom, I feel like this has more to do, I mean, obviously it could be about cleaning, maybe you're using a broom right now, but I also feel like this broom has something to do about transportation, you witches on a broom. Um, some of you might be 
getting ready to sell your old your old clunker or you, you could be getting a new car you get approved for a loan for a brand new car in april you're changing your ride maybe somebody could there might be a motorcycle too they're just telling me a motorcycle all right so i think that's good is there anything else that virgo needs to know let me just get a couple more cards and then we're going to end out the reading so yeah do become a member of my channel you get really cool emojis if you were a member before and you rejoin, you'll get your status back. Get a really sweet badge. $2.99 per month. Okay. So it looks like you're going to be also reevaluating your career. Thinking about your career, you could be doing that right now. You also have an emotional wish is being granted in April. Oh, and you have new love beginnings. You know, Virgo... <laughs> For those of you who are like completely single and that nothing here is really resonating as far as a breakup or the breakup was so long ago that it doesn't change the fact that somebody else is curious about you. But I do see like there is, look, there's the spying and yeah, so I do feel like that's still going on. You could have someone that you ended something with a really long time ago or something ended and this person suddenly is curious about you looking to see you know whatever happened to you or if you're with somebody else or if you're dating or just looking for information on you um but i do feel like um there is a new love it's coming if it hasn't already happened some of you already might be in a new relationship right now okay and then you've got the tower here after every storm washes away the bad and there's a new beginning the message is stand firmly on the ground and know this whole thing is all for the best. And I don't really know why that is. Things may seem to be in chaos or have been, but it's for the good. It's happening for a reason. Some kind of stressful situation is happening for a reason. It's there's an there's a rebirth there's a rebirthing energy. New plans start evolving in your life, Virgo. So, you know, with the eclipse reading yesterday, we were talking about setting your intentions with the new eclipse, the new moon eclipse. And that was about starting something and doing it like it takes 21 days to form a habit or doing some kind of 30 day challenge, committing yourself to something, you know. So some of you might have already been thinking about that and you're implementing those new plans. Here you go. You can do this. This is the card of courage you know <laughs> fight back by not fighting you're a winner Virgo so whatever you're starting plans you're making endure and be patient with yourself don't overdo it my gosh my phone is blowing up Feliz Complianos somebody just wrote to me in Spanish I don't even know Spanish Feliz Complianos te quiero te, te quiero what the heck does that mean? Okay, somebody translate for me. All right, let's see. Anything else Virgo needs to know? And you've got family celebrations, wedding, engagement party. Okay, so either you're attending or it's going to be yours. That's a future thing. Or maybe you're doing some kind of... Okay, somebody's got regret. I just feel like I should keep going on. Somebody's got regret, Virgo. They feel like they're angry and that, that it's a no-win situation. Okay. But there's also victory, recognition, and applause. Somebody's angry. They have a lot of regrets, but they're angry that you're getting a lot of attention. They might just think you are, okay? They might just think that that's what's going on. And that might not be the truth. Some people don't even understand that most Virgos are like, that's nah, all right. I'm, I'm in. I'm in the house. <laughs> Some people don't understand that Virgos can be very selective. And they tend to like to be independent and on their own and doing their own thing. Um, but I think that's what the attraction is to Virgos. Because they're kind of quiet and reserved. And they just, for the most part, like a true Virgo, will just keep to themselves and like I had a friend years ago Gina total Virgo true Virgo she was super neat and clean she was quiet beautiful girl 
and she was very stable and calm and reserved and you never really knew it's almost like she had like a very um what's the word stoic kind of look about her but she was very deep and loving and warm you know um but she was very consistent very routine and just kind of acted she always came across to me that someone who just could not be shoved around you know she was just very very much an earthen earthy girl you know and i think that might be for some signs very attractive because of this calmness of this stability like virgos are generally not impulsive you know and you know your placements in your chart could have a lot to do with if you are or not but i yeah there's a spying online card again okay somebody's definitely watching you virgo definitely they got things they're thinking because you're not you're just kind of quiet in april all right i'm just keep repeating the same thing so i'm just gonna end it here so yeah personal reading link description box below you can do a text question reading just shoot me five questions in your text reading and i'll respond uh, by your time of your your reading or um you could do a phone call if not go over to my website the link is in the description box also and you can shop some of the products that I'm offering on my website now if you want to check that stuff out. I have cool Zodiac and tarot cards and a really cool tarot handbag. I mean, it's or it's awesome. I'm going to order it myself. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. So thank you to the mods. Thanks, everybody, for joining the channel. And um, I will see you all back here tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed the eclipse if you got to see it. And if not... Well, 20, another 20 years, <laughs> you'll get another chance. All right, you guys, love you. Have a fantastic evening, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.